Scuba Jack presents Yellowstone National Park. The United States has some of the most beautiful and inspiring natural wonders on our planet. You can find many of these wonders in our country's national park system. From California to Maine, these national parks are definitely worth seeing in person. One of the most famous national parks is called Yellowstone National Park. Located in Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, Yellowstone has been cherished and appreciated by millions of Americans. Whether you have already visited Yellowstone yourself or have been wanting to do so for some time, there are plenty of fun facts that reveal how amazing Yellowstone truly is. Some fascinating facts about Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone National Park takes up around 3,500 square miles in the western part of the United States. If you were to look at a map of Yellowstone, you would see that it occupies land in eastern Idaho, southern Montana, and northwestern Wyoming. 3,500 square miles is a lot of land, so it would take you a very long time to explore everything that Yellowstone has to offer. The history of Yellowstone National Park is quite fascinating. According to historians, Yellowstone National Park has been the home to Native Americans for a minimum of 11,000 years. Mountain men and then organized exploration began in the Yellowstone area in the mid-19th century. However, one of the more notable moments in Yellowstone's history occurred in the year 1872. On March 1, 1872, U.S. President Ulysses S. Grant signed a law that created the park itself. This was extremely important, as Yellowstone National Park became the first national park in the United States. It is also known as the first national park in the world. Since President Grant's decision, visitors from around the world have flocked to Yellowstone National Park. There are many fascinating sites in Yellowstone. For example, one of the most popular sites in Yellowstone is called Old Faithful. Old Faithful is one of the most famous geysers in the world. It erupts every 90 minutes, which can make for quite an exciting experience. When Old Faithful erupts, you'll be able to see water and smoke emerging from the geyser. Make sure to take some pictures! Along with Old Faithful, there is the Yellowstone Caldera. The Yellowstone Caldera is the largest supervolcano in North America. It's a dormant volcano, so there's no need to worry about being in danger when visiting it. That being said, the volcano has had some massive eruptions in the past. These volcanic eruptions have also played a part in creating many of the famous geysers that you can spot in Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone National Park is also home to a vast ecosystem. Specifically, it is the largest remaining continuous stretch of primarily undeveloped land in the continental United States. This means that if you were dropped in the middle of Yellowstone, you would probably feel like you were nowhere close to modern civilization. Yellowstone has around 1,700 species of trees and plants that are native to the park. Some of these species include subalpine fir trees, quaking aspen trees, and the Yellowstone sand verbena, which is a rare flowering plant that is only found in Yellowstone National Park. Because of this, make sure that you're slowing down to look at the plant life in Yellowstone. You may come across a completely unique tree or plant that you cannot find anywhere else. As for animals, Yellowstone has over 60 species of mammals Walking through the park, you can come across animals like black and grizzly bears, cougars, Rocky Mountain wolves, and coyotes. Yellowstone is also famous for being the home to American bison. These are huge creatures that like to graze in alpine meadows and grass prairies. While there were around 30 million to 60 million American bison on our continent, there are far fewer that remain today. Those American bison that do exist today are mostly located in Yellowstone. Yellowstone Park itself has many different climates. This is because the park itself is so large and includes both high and low altitudes. 
Spring and fall temperatures range from 30 degrees to 60 degrees. Nights, however, can go down to the single digits. In the summer, however, temperatures are around 75 degrees during the day and 32 degrees at night. The winter is very challenging, with high temperatures between 0 degrees and 20 degrees. At night, the temperature is often below zero. You definitely don't want to be outside in the winter at Yellowstone. Ultimately, Yellowstone National Park is extremely popular. Every year, millions of people travel to Yellowstone to see everything from Old Faithful to the American Bison. Yellowstone is also a great place to go camping. There are over 2,000 campsites in the National Park, meaning that you have plenty of chances to explore and spend the night. That being said, if you do travel to Yellowstone National Park, you'll need to be careful. As you are in a living and breathing ecosystem, you'll need to respect the animals around you. Make sure to keep your distance when you're exploring the park. Along with this, Yellowstone is known to be the home of forest fires. Every year, there are around 35 forest fires that are caused by lightning. About 10 more fires are accidentally caused by humans. While the danger of a fire occurring is relatively small, it does exist, so keep this in mind. Exploring one of America's most stunning national parks. Yellowstone National Park is one of America's most stunning parks for a reason. Its size is massive, and there are plenty of fascinating animals that you can see. Whether you want to go camp in the park or simply want to visit for a few hours, I encourage you to do so. Yellowstone is one of our country's most treasured gems, so I hope you visit it in the future. Please subscribe to my YouTube page for more fun videos. Come on, everybody, and follow me. From the beach to the cold or in the sea. It's time for learning. It's time Everybody and follow me. Jump and swim out to the bottom of the sea. It's time for adventure, fun, and learning. Scuba Jack. It's a shark attack. Yay! Hey everybody, it's Miss Beth from the Adventures of Scuba Jack. Please comment below and give us a thumbs up if you liked our video with activity book. See you soon.